Hey y'all, today on the farm, we're going on a road trip. As y'all know, I sell butchered beef uh, direct from my farm to end consumer. I have got to pick one up today and take it down the road. A lot of my customers will actually come to the butcher to pick up their steers after I've dropped them off and they've been processed. But this particular customer opted for me to deliver it to their home just over 200 miles away from the farm. This particular customer split their cow in half. Now, so we got them already divided up. One customer is on this side, the other on this side. They went in on together on half on the cow. And uh, here we go. My steers are all grain finished. They're, they're grass fed up to around 700 pounds. And then they're on grain that we grew on our farm. I grind them in a feed mill that we have mixed with a little bit of clover hay for a little fiber. And uh, I take them all the way up to around 1,000 to 1,200 pounds. So we're grass fed to 700, grain finished, and that gives us the marbling that we want. My steaks are nice and tender, they're well marbled. You can grass feed a cow all the way. You can do it, but it takes longer to get to the end product and your steaks are not as tender because they're not as marbled. You will have a tougher steak. Some people prefer grass fed, that's fine. You eat your steaks however you want them. But if you want a good tender steak, you gotta grain finish it. And that's what we do here on this farm. I've been selling these steers direct from my farm to end consumer for three years, but this is the furthest I've ever taken one. I'm taking this steer over 200 miles from the farm. So I had to stop, pull over, check all my bearings on my trailer, make sure they're staying greased and cool, look at the tires. I don't want to get a long way from the farm and get broke down, but we're still rolling this morning, see if we can get there and get back. So we've made it to the delivery site. You'll notice as we put the meat in on this particular steer, we divided it at the butcher because these two clients sharing this steer wanted each part of their own uh, individually cut. They had specific requirements for their halves, so we pre-divide it. Other times when people share one, sometimes they all won't cut the same way, so we divide it once we get to the de delivery location. But this is how we're doing this one. We finally made it. Let's get it unloaded and get this horse turned around, headed back home. Where are you want the uh, brook meat stuff? Uh, we're gonna put it in this truck and put it on ice and run it right over there. Got some oxtail, some beef liver. box of T-bones and ribeyes. Burger. Burger. 
Well, we made it over 400 miles round trip. We got back today without having any wheel bearings go out on the trailer, or any tires go flat, anything crazy happening. I was real glad. That was a little bit of a lengthy trip for the refrigerated trailer, but I think I have five more steers I got to deliver before deer season comes in. When deer season comes in, my butcher stops butchering beef and starts butchering venison. And once deer season's over with, I can start back bringing steers in there for him to butcher so if you want to steer this spring now's the time to be talking to us go ahead and get on mp produce facebook page you can text me or call me get on the list and we'll get you lined up to get a steer this spring when we start butchering in april hopefully late maybe late march early april we'll start butchering we'll start catching steers up around christmas and feeding them and as they hit the right weight we'll start killing them and deliver them to y'all's houses. Thank you for watching. See you next time.